my name is Pedro Barbosa. I am a 32 year old man and uh, I'm here to show you how to lose weight. Um, this is not the first time I'm gonna do this. I've done this uh, a couple of times before. I've managed to lose but I also gained back. This time around I'm gonna change that. I grew up in Mozambique where I was born in 1979 and um, I've been overweight all my life. I've always been into sports so I guess I was never really that fat until I turned 20 or so and I stopped doing sports. Um, I gained a lot of weight. Uh, I'm now in the range of 170 kilos or so and uh, I have decided that uh, uh, I need to lose weight. Uh, I don't want to get any health issues, which I'm sure I already have a few. And uh, I'm a musician, and that doesn't this whole thing doesn't help uh, being overweight, as I like to be very active and things like that. It wasn't easy being being fat, and uh, you know, people always make fun of you and uh, things like that. I guess the fact that I was active and into sports, I uh, was a decent basketball player and stuff, kind of uh, break, broke that a bit. But it was still, it was, it was very difficult. I, I, I was always scared of being naked in front of other, other, other guys and, and girls and things like that because of my size. And people would make a lot of fun of me and things like that. But um, uh, I've all, I think. Uh, through music I developed a very strong personality at the age of 16 and I kind of bypassed that which I'm not sure if it was exactly a very good thing. I think if, uh, obese people kind of hide their personality, they put that in front of their weight to try and hide their weight and um, it becomes a problem because you kind of forget that you do have a problem with your weight and uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very difficult strong battle. writing because uh, I didn't have a lot of friends and things like that and uh, I met this girl that I really liked and I was in Portugal for that period um, and uh, I just wanted to, I needed to speak and I didn't have anyone to speak and stuff so I decided to, to write and I came back to Mozambique, a friend of mine told me that it looked like music so I started writing and that kind of uh, brought, uh, changed my life completely. For a band called Mrs. B, um, and I've got a solo project called The Barbosa Experience. Uh, Mrs. B, is a, it's been going around for about six years, since 2006, 2005 or something. And uh, <clears throat> uh, it uses a lot of me, it drains a lot of energy. It's a very energetic band on stage. And uh, it's one of the reasons I want to lose weight, because uh, we, we, we have a great performance. And lately, I've been finding myself to be kind of, I have to calm down, because uh, uh, I get, I struggle to breathe during the sets and, and during the songs and it gets quite hectic and uh, I don't want to be that person anymore. I want to be comfortable on stage and I want to entertain and I want to have fun. If I lose the weight I'm going to lose the X factor on stage, which I totally understand. I, I guess I kind of stick to that for a long time because the fact that I'm, that I'm fat, I stand out on stage, you know, a fat guy jumping on stage, it's not every day that you see something like that, but that's definitely not my my right now I, I need to focus on my health and my well-being and that's that's going to be a priority and i think you know if, if the music is good the fact that you're fat or not it won't make a difference so unless you're in idols to motivate people to show them that that this can be done um, i think in the end of the day as i said uh, the real main goal is for me to lose weight and this will motivate me because all eyes will be on me it's like being on the show you have to perform you have to be good because all eyes are on you
What we've got for. Yeah, this is what we've got for the diet. On the slip test, 500 bucks, but in actual fact, I worked it out based on the food and stuff without the sanitary stuff. You're looking at about 280 rand. That's basically about a week, just a little bit more than a week. In March, I take a ride up north to the South Asian Another thing I bought was a scale for the food. Uh, I'm going to have to weigh some of the foods, actually eat all the foods, and so that I control the amount of, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, portion. No. <laughs> amount of portion. The portions. It's portion yes, control. The portions, yeah. But the amount of calories that I'm going to take in. How are you going to weigh your calories? You don't weigh your calories, but you know that uh, piece of... Freaking chicken's got this amount of calories, apparently. Okay, let's see that again. No, let's not. <laughs> no, no, let's not. <laughs> We're not gonna reshoot. Anyway, I, we weigh the food so that I know that I need to have only about 150 grams of chicken. Uh, no, 200 grams of chicken, actually. 220 grams of chicken. And um, uh, I know that I'm only about to have 150, 160 grams of fruit salads and during the day and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not allowed to have any hydrocarbonate, hydro, hydro carbs. Sorry, no, my English can sometimes is. <laughs> I'm not allowed to have any carbs uh, after five o'clock, so for example, things like that. But before that, I still have to weigh. And other things, I need to have two glasses of water, minimum, between every single meal. So I need water to help digest. The facts I'm giving is facts that I've read or facts of people that have told me so things do differ. Some people have different theories. Well, this theory works for me right now and it worked before and I know it's going to work again. So it's your job to go and find what actually works for you. You know, it's, uh, I don't mind this diet. I think it's a cool diet. And uh, I'm going to do it. Cheers. Fantastic session. You better use the one. 
felhúzóan. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm afraid. <laughs> Alright, next up, I'm gonna have to take off all my clothes and take this sexy body and go and do some measurements. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Cheers, you know. Drive a really fast car 